Hi, I'm Sam from the Red Ferret, and before we start this video, I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with this video. So in front of me, I have a low pro, as you can see, not GoPro, low pro bag. This is a bag for your camera gear. As you know, if you have a lot of camera gear, it's very difficult to get everything in a backpack without breaking something, without scratching something. And camera gear can be pretty expensive. So you will need something to carry it around. This is the low pro bag. This is a very cool bag and we're going to check it out. So this is called the Flipside 300. And it is used for bigger cameras, even a 10 inch screen monitor or tablet and some more things like a lens, for example. It also has impact protection and you can see the different styles of what you can put in here over here. So as you can see, you can put a lot of things in here, but we're going to check this out ourselves to see how cool it actually looks. Wow. All right, so first things first, as you can see, there are a lot of compartments in here. So it's a complete compartment thing. You can take this out if you want to, as you can see, and you can put this somewhere else. So for example, I can put these over here as well if I would want to. I don't know why, but I'm going to put this back over here. Very well thought out, as you can see. This is a, a small pocket for maybe your SD cards or something. I'm going to put some things in here. So I have a sit pack. I did a review on this. Uh, this is for sitting. Maybe if you go on camping trip, you can use this. Uh, let's put this over here. Yeah. A knife. We can always use a knife for something. And of course, a camera. I can put this lens in here, for example. No. Right. My phone, can I put my phone in here somewhere? So as you can see, I've put a lot of things in uh, this backpack right now. And I have did it in a couple of minutes or two minutes. So I sit back to sit when I go camping. Second lens. Tripod. Very nice. My DSLR. My video camera. And my phone is in here. Oh, and there's a knife in here as well, over here. And then I can put some uh, memory cards in here and all that stuff. Batteries, extra batteries, that ain't no issue. So let's just close this up. So on the sides we have some pockets over here. And then over here we can put some things in as well. And then over here of course we have the cool department. A tablet, you can put a tablet, some, um, some pens, a phone, you can put this all in here on the front, so uh, very easy. This is probably for a tripod, you can uh, get a tripod in here, I don't know how, but there is a uh, thing with a tripod icon on there, so I'm assuming you can put a tripod in there. Oh, I also forgot to show you that there is a compartment on this side as well, so you can put here you can put your memory cards in there because there's also a logo of a memory card on here so you can put your memory cards in there you can put some things in here as well as you can see if you want a raincoat you just pull this out from the bottom it just comes out of the bottom and you get this over your backpack like this very very easy did you see how easy that was and your backpack won't get wet as you get, whoa, it was almost gone. As you can see, very well thought out, pretty nice. So I'm going to put this on and see what the weight distribution is like, because that's also important if you carry a lot of heavy things. Right, so as you can see, it fits very well. It's very snug on my back and it feels like this is a pretty good backpack. You can um, mount them together or you can uh, click them together like this as well. On the back and on the front if you want to. So I'm just going to click this over here as well. Then you have that extra protection over here and over here and that extra weight distribution. I have to say it feels very well. Um, would I suggest this? While going out, well, yeah, I would. So if you do not have a backpack yet to carry all your camera gear in, then this low pro bag 
is one of the first backpacks for camera gear I've tried and it's the best, period. Like, for real, uh, you can put a lot of things in here. You can see that this material is very durable, lightweight as well. And it's just very well overall designed with the uh, clips on the sides and all that stuff to get it mounted very easily to your back. And with all the different compartments in here as you can see so let's take this all out and you'll see that there were a lot of things in here so very nice and very easy to use you can even take this out if you want to and you have a small uh, case all right, yeah, would I suggest as well? I definitely would if you don't have a backpack for your camera gear already, because if you want to go somewhere with your camera gear, then you'll need a good backpack to protect everything from falling, from scratching, from all that kind of stuff, because you just can't put it in a regular school backpack or something, because you will scratch your material and your material is very expensive. All right, I would say if you have any questions regarding this low pro bag, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I see you, yes, you is watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen. I don't know. In the next video, bye bye.